Today I'm filming a mukbang, as you can tell from the title and the fact that you clicked on it. So some of you may or may not have watched my McDonald's animal style mukbang that I did like a little bit over a year ago. And I haven't had those in since I made that video, I think. So I was really craving those lately. I was also craving in and out So I made the decision to get an in and out animal style cheeseburger. And I got, thankfully, McDonald's and In-N-Out were really close to each other. So I also got a large McDonald's fry that I will be making animal style again for this video. The difference for this one is that this time I actually got grilled onions on the side from In-N-Out. So I'm not going to be making those myself again. And I have spread. So I also have some American cheese in the fridge. So I'm going to be putting that on this and having some animal style fries. I'm back and I made the animal style fries. They look so good. I'm excited to try them. And a Diet Coke. Yum. I'm going to start eating. Mmm, that's so good. You can like see myself in the mirror there. Hello. <laughs> that's kind of awkward, but it's okay. Okay. So, I feel like a little bit weird making this video right now because I just know there's so many bad things going on in this world. And it seems kind of like I'm pretending everything's okay, um, but I'm really not. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to get my mind off of everything happening. Maybe get your mind off of it. You know, just like continue with my YouTube channel. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about like my life right now. Just what's going on, like kind of like an update video. Kind of like a how shitty 2020 has been to be honest. <laughs> Which I don't want to seem like I'm having like a pity party. Everybody mutually has had like a shitty 2020. And I know that's the case because I just keep seeing memes. Everybody, I have not like talked to one person that's like, yeah, 2020 is my year. You know, 2020 just sucks for numerous, for numerous reasons. Delicious. So basically, um, I posted this one picture on Instagram of me like smiling with Boba and I was kind of just, I kind of just wanted to write a caption because I felt kind of weird writing like a happy caption and being like, oh my god, I love Boba, like it's so delicious when in reality I wasn't feeling good at all that day. I wasn't feeling good the day I posted it and the day after. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm feeling good today. But these fries are really helping. <laughs> it's not even that I have depression or anything. I feel like the whole world in unison is just not feeling good right now. <laughs> A lot of it is due to this virus, of course, but I feel like ever since the start of 2020, it's just been like that. So, um, I've just been feeling kind of just unmotivated to really do anything. And I was telling myself 2020 was going to be my year. It was going to be amazing, but it really hasn't been. And I'm sure it hasn't been a lot of years year. But we're only three months into it. It will get better, hopefully. Um... So, at the beginning of the year, I made a lot of plans with my friends and stuff. I actually, if you guys know, I went to Japan, um, like, oh, no, okay, no, bad, bad. She's ripping the carpet apart. 
Stop it! Ripley, stop! So, if you guys know, I love Japan. And, um, I went four years ago now. And it was literally the most magical time of my life. I had the most fun I've ever had. So, I actually booked a trip to Japan. For actually yesterday, I was supposed to fly. And... Obviously that was cancelled. I literally planned so much of my life around that trip. I'm not trying to sound sad, I know there's worse things in life. But you know when you feel like nothing is working out? And now the whole world is in chaos and it just kind of feels scary because I've never seen the world be this chaotic. <laughs> Everything is shut. People are telling us to stay home. There's like a stigma against going out. I was supposed to go to San Francisco again this weekend, but I had to cancel that because everybody's like, stay in, you know, it's not good to go out. And I just got a little scared, so. Obviously I'm staying in. Um, one thing that really helps me feel better is reading. I think I've talked about that a lot in my videos, but ever since I was little, I used to read a lot. I kind of get lost in the books. I feel like it's a great way to escape. And I'm not telling you guys that you have to escape, but if you feel like it's a bit overwhelming, you know, pick up a book, get lost in another reality. Because a lot of us are going to be quarantined now. It's a good time to start, you know, focusing on ourselves and our wants and needs. And our brains needs because um, we potentially may have a lot of time to spend on our own at home so it's good to like you know think about what how you're gonna spend that time because you can either sit there and you know feel bad for yourself and waste like 20 hours on TikTok, <laughs> which I'm guilty of or you can you know make it a productive time I don't know So, I don't know if like reading counts as being productive because it's just fun and I'm not really reading anything that's like educational. I kind of just like fiction a lot. <laughs> These are so freaking delicious. A lot of people are saying that we're kind of freaking out about this virus. And in some ways we are. Like the freaking toilet paper. Honestly, herd mentality. <laughs> Pying toilet paper isn't gonna do anything. Like, it, buy food. And if you don't have water and like necessities, not toilet paper. Literally it pisses me off so much when people buy like 50 packs of toilet paper. I'm like, what about other people? Maybe they need to use toilet paper too. Now that is annoying about this whole thing going on. That pisses me off, but we do need to be cautious because we never know, it might mutate, something might happen. It's airborne now if you guys watch the Joe Rogan podcast with that guy on. He's a virologist, I think, and he said it's airborne. And he also said that washing your hands doesn't make a difference. Uh, to the virus and he said don't stop washing your hands obviously because you should be washing your hands anyway but he said it's airborne now so it's not really going to make a difference which i find interesting because everything i see is about you um people <laughs> everything i see is like telling you to wash your hands and stuff it's honestly pretty wild stuff and like i said i've never experienced something like that in my life um, I know this is stupid, but Disneyland closed for the month and I just feel like they're so greedy and if they closed, <laughs> I love Disney, but they are pretty greedy. Um, I think this is the fourth time they closed. So the first time was JFK's assassination. Second time 
I think it was Northridge earthquake, 9-11, and now this. So it must be pretty serious. I don't know. Do you guys think they're like keeping something from us? And But then again, I have watched so many of those like scary movies about viruses. I watched Contagion and I also watched Outbreak. And it's kind of scary because I'm like, is the government hiding something? Is it worse than it is or is it better than it is? What do you guys think? We can all mutually agree 2020 is just horrible right now, but hopefully it will get better. This whole video is kind of a downer, but I'm going to talk about things I'm doing to kind of like lift my mood and make me more motivated. So I think I've talked about this before, but I always have a schedule written the night before to kind of like remind me and motivate me to do things. Like for example, I write like wake up, go to the gym, reply to emails, um, you know, edit video, plan video, um, read five chapters of this, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, oh wait, I forgot to say, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, literally, everything was gone. Like, we had to get stuff for groceries, you know, and everything was just gone. Um, people were really freaking out. But besides that, um, let me get back to what I was saying. So I think just waking up with, like, kind of an idea of what you're going to do. Makes me a bit more motivated. It has been raining a lot and the weather, I really do like rainy weather. It's very comforting and calming, but it does make me very lazy. And when it's raining, I just wanna sit and just like, you know, cozy up to Harrison, my cats, and just watch a movie. But I know that's not the healthiest thing for me mentally and physically, so I don't know. I'm not blaming the weather, but you know. It hasn't been ideal. <laughs> but, um, I told you guys I've been reading a lot. Um, that's really helped a lot. I actually just read the book Never Let Me Go. Mm. I was in a fat reading slump, like fat. I didn't read a book for like months. I tried to read many books and I just haven't. This got me out of it a lot. Now I'm reading 1Q84, which is by Haruki Murakami. And that one's really good so far too. Um. So, I'm going to kind of use this time to reflect and really like try to figure out what I want to do and who I want to be. This is getting really deep, but <laughs> I feel like the whole world before this was just so fast and everybody is always, you know, trying to do things and if you don't get something done you feel kind of like a failure and you feel like you need to do as much as possible and always look busy. I feel like that's kind of like the culture we're living in right now and I just felt so guilty because sometimes I'm just so lazy and I just don't do anything and I just watch TV and I always felt like this deep guilt for doing that because I'm like, you know, all these people are posting, they're like getting so many followers, they're like all these ideas, how do they come up with them? And I just feel like I'm gonna take time to really like reflect and I feel like then these ideas and the motivation to actually do things will come to me naturally because a healthy mind equals a healthy life. So obviously I love making YouTube videos I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me in this journey. I think I'm gonna make a vlog about like a day in the life during like coronavirus or something. 
like being quarantined just like show you guys what i'm doing how i'm keeping myself occupied well i remember when i was a kid i could literally sit in my room for hours on end and have like the best time of my life <laughs> a much better time than i have now just going out and i feel like that part of us all of us growing up has left and we don't have like the ability to just sit there and have a great time without intaking information drugs alcohol food just anything we don't have that creativity anymore that we used to have as kids creativity and imagination which we used to have a lot of <laughs> so i'm gonna kind of work on that I'm gonna work on, you know, doing things for myself that I love and, you know, trying to get to know the little kid of me again, you know? <laughs> the kid that used to stay in her room for literally hours on end, writing, making up plays, drawing, even though I suck. I used to think I was amazing, you know, I need that confidence back. <laughs> um, and of course, not everyone has the privilege to stay inside. Some people have to go and work. And a lot of businesses are shutting and telling people to work from home, but some people can't. And I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but I bid you guys well. <laughs> I'm not trying to freak you guys out. Honestly, this, it might be just blown way out of proportion. And it might just go away next week. But honestly, it's good to be prepared. Better to be safe than sorry. Read facts, don't get scared from people being scared. Just read the scientific facts, listen to um, actual scientists podcasts um, and news articles. Don't just listen to like me or like, you know, Ashley on YouTube, I don't know who that is. Make informed decisions. But I think we will get through this. Mother nature always throws things at us and i feel like humans are really good at adapting like i always think oh my god i could never get through that but then when it actually happens to me you know you adapt your brain has a way of adapting really well to stressful situations it's just an awesome thing human brains are capable of doing so let's take advantage of that and just think optimistically hopefully 2020 will get better you guys <laughs> but I hope this video wasn't too much of a downer. I'm just trying to tell you guys um, Give you guys an update. I just want to be real I don't want to like pretend everything is amazing and dandy and smile and tell you guys, you know life is fabulous right now when <laughs> Sorry clearly it's not and I know a lot of you guys agree with me, but If we continue to think positively and um, you know, do things for ourselves and stay safe, take care of ourselves. Hopefully, 2020 will be our year. <laughs> but for now, let's just keep pushing and we will make it. I feel like I'm, I'm happy, like, I feel like I'm making, like, an inspirational speech. I'm like, for now, let's just keep pushing. But I feel really like... I don't know, I'm probably, I might not post this, I don't know, I don't know, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my video, um, it was really good, I wasn't really like talking about the food, but you guys know, this was amazing, and I loved it, and it was just what I needed, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna go edit this video, set to post, um, read a little bit, maybe play a little bit of Mass Effect, watch a movie with hair, by the way, it's Harrison and I's um, six year anniversary tomorrow. So that's pretty wild. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.